Well, hello there, lads and lasses. <laughs> Welcome back to the building of the Keelcraft Ladybird. And having completed the wings, you can see them here. Uh, very enjoyable making these. The two holes are for observation uh, windows to be there so you can actually see the hook catching onto the elastic band. But I've enjoyed making them. They're out of the way. And it's time to turn my attention to the building of the fuselage. And the first thing that struck me is that the, thing, the actual fuselage itself is built like the fourth bridge. It seems way over-engineered. And I understand why it gets the reputation of a flying brick. But I want to stick to the original design as much as possible. And I will have to alter it to make way for radio control. So I'm just aware that um, it's, it may be a heavy model. That being said, I was very fortunate uh, a day or so ago of going round and visiting a fellow club member's workshop. And this chap is a prolific modeler, uh, free flight and radio control, predominantly free flight in the past. And he had over 150 models hanging up uh, in the workshop. And sure enough, one of them was a free flight version of the Ladybird. And I asked if I could see it, and he kindly got it down to show me. And I was surprised when he said he had to add a lot of weight to the tail to get it to balance on the CG. But that also encourages me a little and makes me uh, think that perhaps there's going to be a bit of leeway in the placing of the uh, servos and the radio gear. I may even put a micro servo in the rear here. If the weight has to be added to the tail, I'd like that weight to be uh, useful. He did, however, have a slightly smaller engine than I, uh, I intend using. He had a 0.75. I've been handed on, very kindly, from Roy, this engine. Now, this is a 1cc DC Sabre. No, sorry, Spitfire. It would also belong to his father, the source of this kit. And I think it would be really nice to use this engine to go into the model made from a kit that was from his dad's collection. And I've said to Roy, the deal is you've got to have a go at flying it when it's completed. So it is a slightly heavier engine, but at least there's some potential for moving things around um, in terms of balance and getting that CG. Let's have a look at how I'm going to go about adding radio control. Excuse the squeakiness of the stand, we'll just zoom in a little bit. So this is the business end for the radio control and it's quite a complicated design. There are lots of stringers that fare into this area. It's probably going to be a nightmare to cover. And you can see that it's quite a fat in cross-section tail area. And I need to get, obviously, elevator and rudder control. Now, this is the trim tab rudder that's used for adjusting the flight pattern for the free flight. What I may do, if I just take the wooden parts out of the way, what I may do is increase the size of this and perhaps bring it back to about there. So it's a bigger rudder, maybe double in size, and I would probably run that from a pull-pull system with cables running through to the rudder and running through tubes in this area. The elevator, on the other hand, I think it's going to be a simple conversion. The part that you see sticking out at the rear of the fin would be the working elevator. And that I would operate through a short push rod. And I'm thinking about, if I need to add weight in the rear, adding a micro servo about here. It's not, um, it doesn't have any stringers beyond this point, so it's possible to leave that decision till the whole model's built and I'll give an idea where the balance point is. So that's the plan of action. Um, I think next week I'll start actually building up the sides and there's a suggestion to how it goes about. 
I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a challenge and that makes it all the more interesting. Thanks for staying tuned. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And could you please give me a thumbs up if you don't mind? And that helps spread the algorithm joy to other people. Thanks for watching now.